How's it going guys, Etzer here, and at long last, welcome to the first episode of GD Weekly. Even for the first episode, there's a lot to cover, with some great creators in this weekly spotlight, some exciting new community developments, and at the end, an interview with CrazyMan50, the creator of an upcoming demon level Black Blizzard. So starting off today with a quick update on Geometry Dash 2.1 and the Gauntlets feature within it. Gauntlets are essentially the new map packs for the most recent Geometry Dash update, where upon beating 5 levels in a gauntlet, you can open a chest to unlock new icons, colors, and orbs. The feature continues to be walled off to the general public as RobTop continues to meddle with the servers. The server load is four times greater than any previous peak in Geometry Dash servers according to RobTop, and he's been working hard to strengthen the server bandwidth to accommodate. Hopefully we'll see the servers run back to their full potential soon and expect gauntlets to be finally released in the upcoming weeks. I'll make sure to keep you updated in the next episode. And next, in community news, the Railgunner, a Spanish GFX artist, has just released his first 2.1 texture pack titled Just Another Life, or Jal. Jal has 86 new cubes, 20 new ships, 17 new balls, 10 UFOs, 10 waves, and 5 robots. The game also has new fonts and UI, so opening up Geometry Dash with his texture pack will seriously change the game entirely. He plans to continue updating in the future, adding more of everything, including new spiders. There's a link to his YouTube video with the download link in the description. Make sure to go check out his channel and try out his texture pack. Shout out to the Railgunner for creating the first full-scale 2.1 texture pack. It's great work. Please go subscribe to him. And next I want to share some of my favorite unfeatured levels of the week. First off, we have a great simple level by Flash Mick called Nocturne. That's some really cool effects it almost feels like your cube has weight at some points, and while very simplistic, it ends up looking really, really nice. And then there's Cloudy Day by Jason PM, a level with a pretty nice aesthetic, although it could probably be better with just the transparent white overlay removed. It's a very dynamic level, and it's actually very nicely themed as well. Paulo Gates also released Pixel Night 3, with Pixel Night 1 and 2 already being featured in the past. He continues to add more and more confusing controls, which makes for some really weird gameplay, but I do like the Castle Crashers guy, and some of the pixel art is really nice. Then there's Execute 2 by Quantix, a pretty nice 2.0 slash 2.1 hybrid demon. It's got some really nice movement and a boss fight at the end that I do enjoy. And finally, my favorite unfeatured level of the week has to be Transitioned by Sopa. There's some really really good design here and gameplay is really good too. I started laughing at the end when the hand came out of the lava to wave goodbye from the level. It was just a really nice touch. It's a really nice level and very fun to play and I would go as far to suggest an epic rating for it. I submitted all the levels featured today to RobTop along with a couple levels that I didn't feature that I still thought were great but just weren't good enough to feature here. If you want to be featured in next week's level spotlight, go fill out the form in the description. Make sure that your level was uploaded this week and that you supply a YouTube link to the video. This time I will skip over the level if you do not follow these directions, so please follow these. I want to give you guys the best chance you can to get featured on this. And from there I want to shout out my favorite creators of the week in this week's Creator Showcase. First off, I want to shout out a Geometry Dash level creator by the name of Stubby Pinata. Although many of you have seen a lot of his levels on other channels, they are some of the highest quality levels in Geometry Dash during all of 2.0. He has a fair amount of subs, but he's still pretty unnoticed for the quality of his levels. He uploads occasionally on his channel, and I'm very much looking forward to what he has to offer in 2.1. There's a link in the description to go check him out, and I strongly recommend subscribing to him to get updates and see more previews in the future. And then my favorite musician of the week has to be Caraplex. His songs have been featured in a number of Serpunch levels, but for the most part, the majority of songs songs go unused. He also has around 300 subscribers, but his songs are amazing. Between Worlds, a house track which I use to announce GD weekly. Heartburn, the song used in Start by Sir Punch. And there are many other unused Scarepex songs out there. He's got a massive library of songs to use or listen to. Make sure to go subscribe to him. Let's try to get him to a thousand subs by the end of this week. Moving on to Demons. This week has been somewhat uneventful in Demon news. We were fortunate enough to receive a Korean mega cola I released with Funny Game in it called Red Coronation. It has a classic Cataclysm-like style and it looks very difficult. But the biggest Demon news has to be surrounding the new level Black Blizzard by CrazyMan50, his latest Extreme Demon. CrazyMan already has several levels on the Extreme Demons list, such as Elite Seat Rebirth, Heartbeat, and Conical Depression. However, when he finally verifies Black Blizzard, it could take a spot in the top 10 on this list. Here to talk about Black Blizzard and more is CrazyMan50 himself. Okay, hello guys. My name is Etzer, and we're here with who? Crazy. Man. Okay, okay, and um, today we're going to talk about his upcoming Extreme Demon level Black Blizzard. It's going to be a famous level. It's kind of, it's been a lot while in the making. A lot of people are saying it's one of the harder demons in the entire game. Uh, Crazy Man's currently at like 37%, something like that, on the level. 38%. 38%, wow, progress. Um, but it's essentially a level with unbelievably hard timing, um, and a lot of people are saying it will be up in the ranks with Yadagarasu, Sonic Wave, top five or six. So, uh, where where do you think it might actually fall among like the top ten, top fifty list? 
This is a question I'm getting a lot, and I honestly don't know because, first of all, like I don't, I have not really played many of the levels at the top of the list other than Sonic Wave for more than 10 minutes, and it's probably gonna end up getting nerfed a little bit by the end of it. Like I, I've, I've said multiple times, I want this to be my hardest level. But I don't want to have it be stressful to verify either. I'm just trying expectations way too high for me on this level. Mm -hmm. it really makes it a lot less fun. I just want the level to be good. Uh, do you want to talk about? Do you want to talk about your stream? Because a lot of people seem to. Um complain or kind of make a, a lot of people seem to make a meme out of you banning people constantly because you want a clean chat for example saying the word hi in crazy man stream actually gets you banned or at least used oh, to oh yes so do you want to like comment why that, you do that or like exactly what's never the purposes been a, people that say that people that say that are are either lying or it was like the one or two times when I was building the level high and they commented high and every time I was like spamming high yeah that, that that's when sense. it got annoying and I obviously like didn't immediately assume they're doing it. I would only go like the people that are doing it like after a few people already did it like just assuming mm -hmm. you know that they're only doing it to spam the chat I I get why a lot of people get mad about it because they're not used to a more strict chat that's actually moderated a lot more and they see they come to my chat they see a lot of people getting banned and then they complain about it, and then more people get banned because that's like annoying so mm -hmm. it just creates like a snowball effect in terms of geometry dash ch twitch yeah. channels um most people on geometry dash who stream have channels where they just essentially people spam go or mods just constantly are spamming and i say it gets kind of annoying so i mean your chat is one of the cleanest in the end which kind of does help your cause i suppose well i mean i i, I mostly stream to like interact with the chat mostly that's what makes it fun for me mm -hmm. you know so it's good to have a chat that's like enjoyable yeah uh can we can we anticipate a crazy man 50 sub button in the future on twitch <laughs> Uh, I actually applied for one before, and oh, they, shit, you did. they declined me. They did. They, they rejected me because, for some reason, they thought that I had an artificial inflation of viewers. They didn't assume it was me doing it. They just thought I had a view bot of some sort, not from me or possibly from someone else. And I had talked with them through an email for a while, and they they just like they were just like no, which is kind of weird. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they would assume that they didn't. They didn't tell me how they got this information. They just said that we they could detect it. So like, I don't know what's up with that. But uh, hmm. I'm probably gonna like try reapplying in the next few weeks. I guess. Uh, what are you looking um, at for? What are you looking at for emotes? What are you What are you thinking about? E. The le just the letter E. Yeah. Okay, that's a good. That's good. That's a good first one. Yeah. Good meme. Um, what, what else? Because I think you have, I think you start with two or three actually that you get to choose, so you got some options. I think so, it's either, I think it's two. I think it's two. Isn't so it? you've got an E, and then what else, what else are you putting in? Uh, I don't know actually, it's something to think about. Tough questions on GD Weekly. Uh, one of the things that happened recently in your channel, uh, you uploaded like 16 videos, all titled video. Um, consecutively in one day, and I think most people didn't know this, but oh, it turned yes. out it turned out to be an augmented reality game, uh, which is similar to what me and Viper did for the Geometry Dash 2.0 awards. It's very similar. Uh, there's some interesting stuff in there. It's a very it was a very complex arc. Um, that was m more just me being bored at school and starting to upload some garbage every play videos. Like it first started out with one of the challenge. And people were like commenting like this is a really stupid video everyone's already seen these bugs before so what i did was i just uploaded the same thing four times with different colors and just to screw with people because it's like sort of a joke and i just kept uploading random garbage just applying random filters to these random videos i was uploading <laughs> and then when i got home everyone was really confused so what i ended up doing was just like adding all the stuff in the tags and making the arc. It was like, it took like, like 10 minutes to set that up. Mm -hmm. You actually make uh, sound dodger levels, um, aside from Geometry Dash levels, you make both types of levels. Um, you have a level in the works, actually? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, I made a, a new uh, new sound dodger level for uh, an upcoming update. Uh, the developer will feature some uh, levels made by players of the game, which is pretty neat. I don't know when that's coming out, but it's, Pretty fun. Other than that, I I haven't uh, worked on sound dodger levels in a long time though. Mm -hmm. I think that's probably enough. I think we can probably end it.
But that is going to do it for the first episode of GD Weekly. Thanks to CrazyMan50 for the interview. Go check out his channel in the description. Links to Railgunner and his texture pack, along with Stubby Pinata and Caraplex, will all also be in the description, as well as the level IDs for the five levels I showcased with this week's spotlight. I spent a lot of time getting this all to work, and the show's production quality will hopefully increase week to week as I get my act together. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you back here every single week. Please make sure to click that subscribe button and turn on notifications if you want to be notified when these come out. I really appreciate you guys leaving likes, doing anything to support this video. Please leave comments what I could do to improve the content or the quality. I want to make sure that this show covers everything you guys want to see covered. So if there's something that is important to you that you want to hear more about, if you didn't think I covered it's like enough, please tell me and I will make sure to include it in the next episode.